Alright. Yesterday, um, I was gonna be red dead one, and I realized my mic was turned off. So I had to stop, stop it. I just played it for two, two days, and because I was tired. This went all the way up to chapter four. There's like a, there's like four more chapters left at the, until the, the game. So. Time to go, boy. My mountain suffered the grizzlies. Why did you watch the gunsmith?
Now I'm not going to go to missions. I just had to ride from the thing, from the cab, and come back. Simple. Oh my gosh. It's not calculus. Who's here? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Are you kidding me? And more parties? We just had one. Quite often, there can be fine tickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Gentlemen, Luca. Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. My new haircut. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. Come, come, this way. Uh, uh, the beautiful uh, evening at Chalcy. Uh, Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, the thing, you know. Uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. <laughs> Keep sneezing. I was a cough. Hey, hey, hey. I keep coughing. Ah, the angry cowboys, you arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sand and the High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley. <laughs> a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> I'm a hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the man. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money... Yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get us killed if he happens in our trial. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. He's gonna get one of us killed. That jolly, and we're not going to that jolly, Dutch. All right, Dutch. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to San Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Find the mayor if you can, and stay out of trouble, and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us someplace to run. Glass of champagne, sir? Evening. Uh, sure. Bonsoir, monsieur. Une bonne soirée à vous, monsieur. I took nothing. I don't know where the hitman is at. I heard you went to outrageous. These dancers. Hello. Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. That's the mayor? And you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man... You are this drunk. man Look loves you. darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me, cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Go. 
Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. How do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! Oh! My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. We're still on that Cornwall thing. Oh, come on now. I can't we just lay low. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrible. Taken care of the telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie, Marie, find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. <sighs> have you lost your mind? Um, I'm sorry, sir, but the party is in the garden. The residence is purely for family. I do hope you understand. Forgive me. I was unaware. I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. No, that's it. Guards! Guards! We have an intruder. Um. Is 
everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. not meant for the likes of you, you know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. I had to just fight until he's gone. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. First attempt. Hello, mister. Waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Thank Let's you, get in. Go home. I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. <sighs> the high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people 
torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see. Think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Smoke up. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking Tell about. Tell the world I'm okay. coming home. <clears throat> sorry for that. I'll tell you I'm sorry for that. My legs. trouble <laughs> you all right Jack I'm just fine why no reason how have you been Arthur okay <laughs> you seem well River yes he's well, drunk maybe I've been okay before but then I make a fool of myself again <laughs> so do I you're drunk I went hello Mary Beth oh, how are you Arthur fine how are you well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys cared for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or, 
I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. All right. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Um, Just get going. I need some of my guns. All right, head for Rose. And quick. She's in Rose? No. She's at... First of all, can I get my guns? House, just west of there. Arthur! I need my guns. I ain't gonna own my guns. Call me a Michael Bell, but I don't care. I need these guns. near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. You told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I got this. I'm gonna ram in there. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Mama, sir. Anyway, just get in there and try to kill him. You wasn't gonna deal with it the right way. I'm sorry that you're a black man. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, shoot. Um, Arthur, why did you get your gun out? Oh, she got shot? Till you die. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, I got this. We killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, the one in front of the boat. All right. Get after them. 
This horse has a limit. I can't. You got They're heading down the hill to the water. Go out. Let's finish these scum. They think they're getting away. They got another thing coming. That's the horse. Stay right on their tail, Arthur. Oh, you're gonna pay. All of you. You've got a couple more seconds to regret. you're getting into i'm anthony foreman well thanks for the introduction anthony is that foreman with an a i want the undertaker to spell it right funny bastard <laughs> who are you running with Damn coward huh? what the hell funny bastard <laughs> who are you running with she didn't tell you she didn't tell me nothing wow. this rope is Cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Shut the hell up. Get off me. This monster. What? Oh, so cute. To ever mess with Tilly Jackson again. Okay, so I see you're on Red Dead, and you know how I said I can give you a boost? Yes. In your Red Dead story mode settings, you go drop him in the dirt a, where he belongs. A tiny little box. So he's still alive? She. Yes. And you see I this girl? Hold you leave her alone. She killed my cousin. You know what I'm saying. Basically, what I'm saying is, 
I have all the cheats right here. Because cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. On my brother's PlayStation, he has this game, and he let me a mess. Okay. I use the cheats. Your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want no. him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do well, that, Anthony? I hold all of the cards because I ventured through every chapter on my brother's PS4 or, and got a... Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, you. <laughs> Let's get you home. Now get out of here. Come on, pal. And then I'll maybe go to that friend Trelawney mission. Friend, you gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bu bullet. That's all. Ah, mother of God. Oh, it's good. Hey, I didn't even earn on. I didn't even earn on. I didn't even lose on it. That was a mistake. Um, yep. Sorry, prisoner. I hope yeah. you escape, prisoner. I will. Oh, what the? <laughs> What is Arthur's life? What is Arthur Arthur's life these days?
sir. Come in and have a browse. When you're ready, have a browse of our catalog. And I can go out back and get what you're looking for. You know, we sell plenty of parts to improve that weapon. Did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy? We can do that to this model for a great price. You'll notice the quality of the workmanship. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. The wrap. <laughs> Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Do you have enough ammunition for that thing? We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested. Is, is, is someone there? Anything to spare for a blind man? <laughs> oh, is someone there? Hello? There you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. Uh, yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. You're welcome. know you mr i believe we've met we have at that ghastly party oh evelyn miller unfortunately so mr uh, arthur morgan at least sometimes uh, can i say something rude sure the mayor thinks you robbed him well, uh, to be clear he, he wasn't very upset about it he rather liked you okay do you uh well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people before you are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told... Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. 
And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know oh, it yeah. is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. How much? You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, at appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. How do you do, sir? Senor? Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. Oh, let's go. I cooked it. From all the inbreeding. Let's go. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, the gentlemen. barber. I thought my haircut looks good. Oh, so scope the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. 
Uh, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! Well then... Senate news. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? Coach? We can't win up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be wait. Uh, you don't ah, think. there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. 
Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Come on, let's find the others. Hey. Will you hurry up? They'll be leaving dock soon. My god, man, it's like coaxing a dog to the spaying knife.
my back. Dad? What Hello? the? Who's the? Okay. Okay. People keep joining my party. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Take a seat, sir. I actually have to play, play poker. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Bly. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would oh, the please. fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Bly, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. That's me out. Oh. I'm sorry, my friend. I thought you was a player. I ain't got time to waste on fools and cowards. Oh. are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my 
sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. <laughs> Call. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. My luck, hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why, I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe, upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I just... Now play. As you wish. So, so you must know, know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. All right. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cakes. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally. I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but... You can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Take his gun, Arthur. Give me your gun. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun.
shit! Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. Um. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. You give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we can still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look. There's your friend. Hello, mister. How do you do? There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! Ah! Come on, Arthur! You gotta get out of here! This is oh! Nice to repeat him. It's a good one. Good over there, Trelawney. You good? I love ya. What are we supposed to do now, huh? Oh! Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, get out of here. I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my. Dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. What is next? I think that's the Eagle Flies mission. 
Eagle Flies. I don't know why his name is Eagle Flies. Because he's an eagle and he flies. Let's go to Sadie. <sighs> then we can go to Eagle Flies. Good seeing you in action with those foreman boys, like the old days. Oh, I'm just glad we got Tilly back. How you doing, Mrs. Edler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Did you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the Crowley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh, it's what the hell are they 
already done to me. Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover, or Grinch the boys are coming. Okay, when did we get in a gunfight? This fight's unwinnable. This fight's fight is unwinnable. Because I know what John John <gasps> Oh this Get those doors down quick uh, Now everyone I've got about, to get I, these windows ooh, covered quick I'm slow. John, you take the windows over there Charles you take the side doors there Arthur you take the windows in the back go is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey, I said is everyone accounted for? I don't know. I think. Oh my gosh. That's Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. Cover me. Okay. She's still out there? Oh, 
go. He's still up! I need my guns. My, I'm about to run out of ammo. Oh! I, I need to get my shotgun. Really bad. No! No! Okay? I think so. Except for... Oh, no. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate it. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So you know. we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. We have to go to another oh, camp? That, that was a short come. chapter. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. I was AFK and that work. there was a shootout. Shall we? Yep. Hmm, fine, calm. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. So we really have to go to a different camp. This is intense. Hello. I'm happy I can conversate now. Good morning. So at least I was for real AFK and there was this and a shoot outside and like what? <laughs> oh, Dutch is already standing there. Dutch has investigated the truck. <laughs> Balter. Let's go to that truck. It's like the Eagle Flies mission is too far. I'll go to the Eagle Flies mission next. But there is another mission. If I had my pump action shotgun, I, they would have, they would have, all of them would have been
Open your eyes. Man. Oh. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. Well, taste in this place you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then, well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. F, leave me. I can't rob him because I'll lose honor. Mr. F, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice, not mine. Kindly open that gate. Let my acquaintance inside. There's both. There's two guns pointing at you. Open the gate and let my acquaintance. Rob the customers. Do we have to rob? Of course. Okay. Give me everything you got. Quick. Of course, of course. Just take it. Losing friggin' honor. Do you want me to frisk him? Or you got this? You frisk him. I can do it. Why aren't you taking donations, Mr. M? Oh, sure. All your money now. Don't make me ask twice. Okay. Fine, it's yours. Why aren't their pockets empty? Yet, Mr. You Rand. need to give me all your money. <laughs> There's now. nothing much here. Okay. What? There's about. nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be he stacks of cash said. in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars and coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. He set us up. We got you surrounded. I called it. Son of a bitch, he set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are you gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Go now. Go. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? Bye. 
supplies. I'm losing honor. Oh, goodness. Too much things. Oh my gosh. Yep. Oh.
있나? 사운드 플랫 How is I supposed to help? I'm opposed to do that
Leute, also das schon. Ich war für du das Ego frei ist, ich war gonna do that Dutch mission. Dutch nigga just speak to me. Look at that in the red. Just doing like the white. I, that's, that sound racist. Help a blind man. There you go. Just as evil begat evil your whole life long, yep. so good may beget good. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Kane. Of course I can. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. He's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Train to Saint Denis. Okay. 
Better get a move on then. Be damn Barry. What? Will you be quiet? Need a file out the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wahiti. I. I. Damn Barry. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially on such a nice I... floor as this. Good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury. You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you.
can't just use a bow. Some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was My very honor, alive. like it, when I lose honor, I don't know why. I, like, I thought you wasn't you. getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope, but who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, up. Yep. All right. I I lost honor in that thing. I want to buy a lost honor. I lost honor in that mission, and I lost honor in the bent, in the freaking trolley job. <laughs> Trying to get the good ending.
Jam. Drunk horse. Broken. Pay no attention. You okay? Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I, I go find someone to deal with this? I guess. Thank you, sir. Touch. Arthur, come up here. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. Good morning. You okay, Jack? I'm scared, Uncle Arthur. It'll be okay, kid. Yep, move again. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. Just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, 
We are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital. And we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well... Business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Are we gonna kidnap him? I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. Look, if you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? 
Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. Be live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It's gonna take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? This one's empty. <sighs> All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going out to Angelo Brunson? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. Gonna be missed up. for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Alright, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find it. Stuck in the mud. It happens. Ugh. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? 
There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Where are we going? Oh, come on. Hold up. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good evening. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. I'm serious.
Since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Oh, it is so I'm scared. Someone there?
You in a tree? What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. <sighs> Okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Mastiff, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I
Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. I got you. Stuck! Stuck? I don't know. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Now, boy, I think we hit a tree stone. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to I jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. You'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull! Come on, put your back into it! How dumb are they? We're risking my life. Yeah, I'm teetering. What you gonna do about it?
Stand with him, Arthur. Come here. Arthur. Yeah. It's not the time to run out of stamina. Yeah. He should be okay. Ah.
think he's going? Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. Holy shit. Oh, ah! Okay. Just... Alright. I was scared. Made it. Thank you, Didn't old I? Uncle Dutch. on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you Better watch out, my dude. You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with me. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. Got muscles, I think. Well. What is a side mission? Find me a new voice out there at the stables.
There you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Clutch them out there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, like leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go. You see those two? Stay out of sight. Yeah, hold on, I can feel there. You hear me, John? A dog. Let's go. Some cover. Two up ahead. Shot, take it. Oh. 
I keep pushing in, man. I don't know why I keep pushing. There was a gun behind me and there was a guy in front of me. I can't hold my task. Good. Now take that damn door in. Look out! John, what are you doing? We got more inside. Oh. Who's next? What? Execute! Execute! Oh! 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 Mm. Oh! Take 
Name your price, every man of a price. Eh? Okay, okay, no, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. He feels hiding in the bathtub. Ah, come on now. Big Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Fontaine. You need to shoot them, please. Oh, kill him already. Okay? We're nearly there. Come on. Nobody's going to jail today. You make a point to get a move on. I'm shooting people while I have a hit of man on that arm. The kidnapping! He's bringing him back. From where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? <laughs> they are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already the dogs are on the way. Oh yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth! Has got to be disposed of! Oh, Our friends of oh. Pinkerton's gonna come and rescue you, you oh. repulsive little maggot! Oh. 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 Call them now! You call them!
Jesus. Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. This way. Come on. Morning, Arthur. Telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. It's the right plan. We've done the work. I've been in town, looking, watching, and, and waiting. I've, I've tested it as well as I can. It's the right plan. Jim? Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I think I agree. When we do it at night, there's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. Let's do this. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> Stole us! Let's go, let's go! Run! Mr. Matthews! Passing you. This is it, gentlemen. The 
last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How's... Soon are we shipping out. Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina. Then another Watch around the town. What a... About the money in Blackwater. We're just gonna leave that behind. Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some big town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security. Guards, police? Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. Hitch up here. Gentlemen. Thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this. They stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This... this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. He's a true artist. <coughs> Gentlemen, let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a hold up! Don't do nothing stupid!
Okay. Now then, Arthur, would you please have senior bank manager here? Open it. Open, up the vault? Open it. you again go faster All the vault, yeah, but if we got a problem out here, come out. It's over. What's Shit. up, Abigail? Dutch, get out here. Get out here now. Someone must have squealed. You never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton, <clears throat> let my friend go. Or, folks. They are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains. No more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on. Don't. Just go. Don't look behind you. Oh! <laughs> There's your deal, Dutch. Hosea. Hosea! Oh, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You killed one of us? We kill you! Get down! Okay. Uh, nearly got me. I pick up the 
John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be He's arrested. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the route. See if you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. We can be so cool. My bad. No! Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> oh, 
what now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Uh, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, well, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. I love your girls here, and money. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. Someone's coming. Duck. Hey! I already checked the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure. Stop, Arthur. Oh, damn it. We're never gonna get past these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. Stay down and keep quiet. We've wasted enough time on these fools. Spencer said. See them? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. 
What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most Come beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. Mad that lady died. And I'm sorry. On a boat. We on a boat. We on a boat. some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence and find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money? and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you.
Chapter 5. It is a miracle! It is a goddamn miracle! 
something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody yeah. give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. So, where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guarma. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. <laughs> we were lost at sea. In the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 That means move! You got a long walk ahead of you. Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? Oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. And other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. How very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon. You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. <laughs> you was going the scenic route. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel. Junto con... <laughs> 